All right, guys, here we're playing Riffin top lane, but this time I'm going to teach you guys the Riffin versus Fiora matchup, a super skill based matchup. So, what we have in this game is the Conqueror page, as always. What we also have is a Transcendence with Scorch for more damage, and then we also have a Dawn Shield for um, the Fiora Qs, and then we also have Ignite for the healing reduction. Now, this is a very interesting matchup, especially because um, this Fiora player specifically is playing the game with Boneplate and Grasp. Which is one of the most aggressive Fiora version out there, actually. Ooh. Oof. Actually got a super early kill. I like the way how Fiora played that out, but G made a tiny mistake. The reason why we managed to win like this was because when she went for the Q, the secondary Q on me, um, she lost the bone plate already. But then she queued like basically in my wave, like specifically, which uh, it focused her and she lost like, I think like 50 to 100 damage or HP to it actually. That's, that's how we managed to win like this hard in a 1v1. Ooh, I'm probably dead. Over. Not bad. The parry she did was like really good actually. That was some really good timing. I actually didn't I actually fell for that one. Luckily we cut that push. We can now reset. Then come back like super strong. Alright, let's go back. So, first things first, what we're going to buy to make the matchup a little bit easier. It's something I don't really do as much, but I want to showcase you guys. We're going to be going with a Dorn's Blade, and then we also buy a Longsword. So, basically what we're doing here is we have a Dorn Shield for the healing. Um, and the entire effects with it. But then we're going, going for a Dorn's Blade, which once again provides damage and HP, right? And usually I don't really stack Doran, Doran items that, that much because obviously it doesn't stack together. Um, but the raw, the raw stats you gain from these two items combined is definitely worth rushing for sometimes. If you want to have like an easy lane, then like the Doran setup is or can be incredibly powerful. Alright, so we're chilling. So again, we're going to be focusing on short trades mostly, trying, you know, not to get hit by the parry. Nice try, dude. So yeah, most importantly, we got to see if we can trade her without getting hit by the parry. That's the trick here. And also, like, procking her bone plate is also crucial. Wow, that was clean. Okay, not bad. Good play from her, actually. Because that basically hit hit me with the Q. While also queuing backwards, it was not bad. Nice. So now we have the wave like slow pushing into Fiora. And I'm going to use this um, to hopefully get a kill on her level 6. Super random parry, what? My spirit is not lost. She's not necessarily coming close. So hitting Ursula can be like a little bit harder because she's always staying like a bit too far away from me. Okay. Not bad, not bad. We dodged the Q, now she's dead. There you go. You see like how that's being played out? Like there's many ways how you can beat a Fiora. There's like so many ways of how this lane can turn out, but we actually outplayed her super hard right there. If I manage, or well, if I were to get hit by her Q right there, I would have died. But if I, uh, I shielded like directly into her and then I instantly dodge her Q, 
And because of that, like, we, can, we didn't get hit, and that's how we managed to kill her. You know. So now we have two pots and a ward. We got Warhammer. The, uh, the Dorn items definitely help me here in this matchup. Okay, Wave's going to get slow pushed into me soon. Let's place a ward down over here. And... Let's see if we can get some traits in. This Fiora is like always walking backwards based on like what I've seen so far. Like she cues and then she instantly backs off so that I can't actually dash in. And her parries are often at the start. So I, I know kind of like how she plays it and I can maybe use that. Let's see. That's her bone plate. So now we can actually kill her. Now that her bone plate is down, we can actually try and all in her. So this is where the real magic happens. There you go. I purposely moved to the wall as close as I could. And the reason why I've, I've been doing that is because Fiora needs to hit her ultimate. All four of them in order to kill you. Because that gives her the extra healing and everything else. If you path towards the wall, then she can't actually hit her ultimate like that easily. Uh, and besides, then all you have to do is just sidestep the parry and then you're pretty much good to go. In short. Like that's how you treat a Fiora. So we take the wave. Of course, she will try to stop me here. She'll probably try queuing me right now. Probably. Oop, that actually lands. Okay, let's go with Kindle Gem. Or well, actually, I might go with Iron Spike for fun. Now let's go Iron Spike. Seems like she got a coal, two armor clothes. All right, cool. Burdens of the past. So let's see if. Wait a second. All right. Just seeing if I can get like an auto attack off. She actually wants to proc the bone play, but she still uh she still didn't have the bone play yet. My bad. But we didn't take too much damage, so it's alright. You gotta proc her bone play without like getting hit by the parry. That's the trick. Um she might be in here. There's a Nidali right behind us. Learn from your mistakes. No other way. Ooh, she parried my ignite. Not bad, not bad. She parried my ignite. <laughs> Lost it. That doesn't happen often. That happens very rarely. It, it, honestly, I play Ignite into Fiora pretty much all the time, and I never get into a, a situation where a Fiora actually predicts my Ignite. <laughs> that was really interesting, man. Okay. Alright, cool, man. Uh, I think I'm actually going to stay for one more. Or actually, I'm going to go back now. So long I've there you go. Got my Kindle gem. Yeah, she... Yeah, definitely, guys. She she uh, randomly pressed parry and then she got my ignite. 
She tried, I think she tried like parrying my stun me. and it failed. Instead, she parried my ignite. But yeah, like, uh, Fiora can definitely parry an ignite. She can parry anything. Whatever she wants, she can parry it. Okay, she's not using her Q. I want to make her use her Q though. Ooh, I cancel my auto attack. All right. Not bad. I can probably kill that on her tower right now. Um, kind of close. Hmm. Okay. Got you, buddy. You just gotta predict par the the fewer parry. That's all. Nice. Get the power. Very, very, very good. And then we go back after. Nice. Alright, let's go back. So, let's go Gore Trinker, then we go Lucidity Boots, and then we're gonna go into Grudge. For fun. There you go. Like this game, I want to go into Grutch because I want my uh, my fast combo to slow Fiora. I want to like chase her down easily, you know. That's my uh, that's my plan. And then eventually, we're also gonna go for Chain Sword, obviously, because we need to cut down the healing from Fiora, even when we don't have Ignite. Um, and then. We will probably go into a GA and also a death stance. Not bad. I'm probably getting into a 1v2 any second. Now. Okay. Yeah, like I said. Okay. Use that. Two of them. Thank you. Good. Uh, good play from my support, actually. Nice. And then we're going to be going up to red buff after. Oop, got it. Let's go up here. No red buff anymore. Because I I stole it from Needly. Obviously, I got the red buff right now, so she took it. We just gotta be patient right now. We just have to wait for her. Ooh, she didn't parry. Okay. Okay. I actually expected her to parry, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get one, like, 1v9. I think Yumi's also dead. 
yeah, Draven. Draven managed to survive for a while. He had to. He had the healing, and he also had Eclipse for healing too. Yeah, definitely one thing for sure. This game we need to get a chain sword because ignite um, is not enough. Like we can cut Fiora's healing, but if it's on cooldown, we can't even cut that healing anymore. Like we can only cut like one person's healing. And they got Draven for healing, they got Fior for healing, and also Nidali for healing. So they got quite a bit that we have to take care of this game. Let's go bot lane. Maybe we can cheese her like inside the brush. I've got Grudge now, so I got Perma Slows. Don't need my ultimate anymore since we got too much damage already. No idea what he's doing. Okay. Uh, gotcha. And this guy's also built. Hey, uh, yep. We are now unstoppable. Nice. Uh, next, we're gonna go for blue buff. Uh, yep, it's alive. I know it's alive because we didn't. We weren't able to steal a blue buff from uh, from Needle That's how I knew. Around this time is usually when it spawns. Let's try. Oh, whoops. Let's see if I can walk around. Ah, you kidding? Actually, that's uh, that's actually sad. Wait, what? What is he doing? Huh? What? He kicks me over the wall. Oh, I couldn't shield anymore. What? This guy kicks me over the wall. Wait, what? You know, it, 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 you know, Zoe survived, but why on earth would you kick a Riffin over across the wall up to Zoe? <laughs> I could have killed Zoe if I used my flash in a different way. Man, I was just, I was just totally shocked with like what this Tom Kenji is actually doing. That that literally made like no sense at all. Unbelievable. All right, let's go for um, let's go for GA right now. We need this thing. I wish I have uh, I wish I had flash right now. I could kill him though. Probably gonna go mid lane, then path like towards the jungle. Oh, he's dead. Nice. My team can start Baron. Got my Grudge for the Perma Slows. This guy's also dead.
heal up again. It's okay if Needly hits. I don't think they will try. Oh, hello, Tom Kench. <laughs> How long is he gonna chase for them? They chase me for so long. Oh, I got outplayed, unfortunately. Nice. And yeah, this game is over. Let's see. Yeah, Draven's left right now. But he can't do anything. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's let's play like a little mini game right here. Let's see if you can catch me. <laughs> I will kill all of them. Nidali, I'm getting my Penta. <laughs> oh, what? That's my Penta right there. It was one auto attack. All right, I'm taking it as, as an official Penta. <laughs> that was one auto attack, man. All right, I'm, I'm taking that as an official Pentacle. <laughs> oh, the timing. All right. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Top against Fiora. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube event, and I'll see you next time. Peace.